Now let's bring in a Facebook watcher to talk about Siglia's lawyering up. Justin Smith founded Inside Facebook, a leading source for information about the much talked about company. He's an entrepreneur involved in many successful startups and also wrote the Facebook Marketing Bible. He joins us right now from Stanford. Justin, welcome to Bloomberg West. So first of all, tell me, what are your sources inside Facebook? What are they saying about this case? Well, we're just hearing a lot of what you've already said, which is that these, you know, these claims are, are, are fraudulent. That's what Facebook has said all along. Uh, and they're, you know, saying that it's just uh, just uh, just uh, another case of, of of false claims coming from um, coming from uh, Mr. Seglia. Now, to your knowledge, what was Mark Zuckerberg's relationship with Paul Seglia? Well, it, uh, you know, from from what we're hearing, um, you know, Mark Zuckerberg was working with Mr. Seglia on a, another project uh, that he was contracted uh, to to work on for him, uh, and uh, you know, during the course of that. Uh, uh, of, work, of working on that project with him, I think, is when Mr. Segley is claiming these uh, these emails or, or alleged emails took place. Um, but it's not clear whether or not those uh, actually, you know, uh, are legitimate or uh, you know, whether or not that work ended up happening in the way that it was claimed. It's really hard for, for anyone to know exactly at this point. That said, you know, one of the biggest law firms in the world has picked up this case. Doesn't that add legitimacy to this? I mean, how have your sources at Facebook reacted to that part of this? Yeah, I mean, one would have to assume that because, you know, DLA took up this case that they've done uh, some degree of due diligence, which uh, does lend, <clears throat> you know, in my view, lend more credence to the case than you know, would have otherwise been the case. Uh, you know, at the same time, uh, you know, we, we still don't know yet uh, for, um, as to the, the ultimate legitimacy of these claims. Uh, so it's, it's still really too early to tell, but the fact that, that DLA took up the case, you know, does, does lend it more credence than it had previously. I want to talk to you a little bit about Google now getting into social media. Larry Page sending a company-wide email that Google's success depends on the future of its social strategy. How do you think Facebook will react to something like that? Well, I think Facebook has been, you know, charting its, charting its own course on its, its strategy to build out uh, the social graph and the social platform and, and to have more parts of the web become socially enabled and more deeply integrated with what Facebook has built. Obviously, a lot of that means that uh, those parts of the web aren't, aren't public and aren't searchable and indexable by Google. Uh, and, and Facebook is layering a, a, a solid advertising business on top of its uh, core social graph. So ultimately, I think Facebook is going to continue you know, building out its, its core platform, its, its social graph, and its, and its advertising, advertising services. And that is likely to continue to impact others who have, you know, have built related services like Google. We're just seeing some new news, Justin, that Google's head of creative marketing, G. Lee, has just left Google for Facebook. Tell us about the war for talent between Google and Facebook specifically and what people leaving Google think they're going to get out of Facebook. Yeah, there certainly is a, uh, a uh, it's certainly a hot market for talent right now in Silicon Valley, in particular uh, for engineers who have you know experience at companies like Google. And there have been many former Google employees who have who have moved to Facebook. You know, ultimately, I think that because Facebook is a smaller company that's earlier in its uh, in its growth and development, a lot of those employees see opportunities to uh, get on board at an earlier stage of what uh, could be a pretty big trend over the next decade or so. Uh, and, and beyond. Uh, so uh, ultimately, you know, Facebook is 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 looking to grow, is growing, growing very quickly, is adding, uh, you know, uh, hundreds and and you know, uh, potentially doubling in size, you know, over the coming over the coming year or more. And uh, that that means that there are going to be a lot of employees coming from Google and other places, uh, seeking what's uh, what the the potential opportunities they see at Facebook right now. How aggressively does Facebook pursue top talent from other companies? I mean, what's their pitch? What's their selling point? Come work for us. Uh, well, you know, certainly Facebook is growing uh, really quickly and has grown very quickly over the last couple of years. And uh, they, uh, Facebook will, you know, will certainly offers you know potential employees the opportunity to build products that will be used by uh, five or six hundred million people on a monthly basis. Um, and, I, you know, still in my opinion, we're in the early phases of the growth of the social web. Uh, so we're, we're still at the beginning of what is likely to be a large t uh, shift in technology and a large uh, shift in how the web works. Uh, and Facebook is likely telling people that they can come be a part of that. 
All right, Justin Smith, founder of Inside Facebook, will be checking out your blog for updates. Thanks so much for joining us.